Hey everyone, my name is Romel Andaya, and I am the co-writer and director. I'm Jason Ng, and I played David. My name is Arlene De La Pena, and I played Grace, and we are going to watch Idol. Play. Let's check it out. Look at I that missed coffee. that mug. <laughs> I, I broke that oh, mug. Good. Oh yeah, yeah it's broken. Coffee. How are you, Grace? <laughs> I've been having a hard time focusing on getting things done. There she is. You guys, this is pre-twins. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I was taking a bunch of, like, hormones during this time, so my brain really was foggy. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you did good. Well, you see, nap time. Look at the scruffiness on that guy. That was, uh... Okay, fine. Yeah, COVID like, really okay. aged me. <laughs> <laughs> quarantine, quarantine aged me. Quarantine aged me. Yeah, yeah, All that stress. <laughs> yep. For my to-do list. How many takes did this take? I think you Remember had to this? write that many times. This yeah. is like the biggest letters ever. <laughs> yeah, it was at least five times. Yes. Uh -huh. Facts, man. Facts. That was fun. I actually brushed my teeth you there. You should always... Put on skincare product. That is like a must. <laughs> is that your bathroom? That is, in, in the video? Like, that is like my uh, seven foot long okay, go. shower locker, <laughs> locker room style. One of the most difficult times Love in my it. life was trying to find my self worth. Yeah, so David nice. needs to shave, man. I tried to keep busy. Oh my God, Ramel, we did so many takes of this. <laughs> oh, this one? This scene? I, I was so excited to get it done. <laughs> yeah. You make it sound so easy. I've been trying. <laughs> yeah, see, right here, you don't, you know, no one noticed that he stops, starts and stops the video. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta work on that lighting. <laughs> that was like... Oh, they I like... remember this. The setup for this. What? Okay. You're so like, it's, it's so okay. hard to watch you, Jason. <laughs> I know. Okay. I see. He's an, a really ugly dude right there. <laughs> hey hey guys, facial hair. Welcome to another episode <laughs> of Words from Grace. Wow. I had to like prime How myself too. Today? Oh, yeah, look at all those views. <laughs> yeah, um, good job to Jason for creating that fake YouTube videos. channel. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I just had to alt. I mean, I just went on the HTML and just just changed some You're text going to be and okay. made a fake playlist. <laughs> just give us some time. I remember I had to listen to like a really sad song right before this. <laughs> That's why I said that. I had to. I was like, I had that song on replay. Hey. What a beautiful setting! Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey oh, man's are parked. Ah, uh, you know, this part, I was like, stop torturing yourself. Don't look anymore. Yeah, poor guy. David? Hey, it's been a while. Michael Clear cameo. You, that's right. Everything okay? I'm all right. Well, that's good. We should hang out. I talked to nobody during this scene. Yeah, you did a good job, like, <laughs> remembering his lines in your head. Uh-oh. This is crazy. Look at all these views. The flashbacks. Uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. It's the outtakes. Too paying. I'm too paying. <laughs> oh, no. What is she doing? It's Pick like... it up. I'm into my I'm video. I'm not talking to you. Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, sadness. Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That look back. She's Taste. not even closing the door on the way uh, out. That's right. <laughs> Just leave it all open. The flies are going to come in. <laughs> I mean, if you turn the camera around, it's yeah. like David standing there love that. crying. Cool. <laughs> yeah. How about we? Hey, can we talk for a minute? You know, I want to say I grew the hair out and the the facial hair for for this short, but that's totally not true. <laughs> we, no, we just decided to. It's just we decided to leave, Yeah, we we decided to leave it because 
we wanted you to have a different look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Yay, good job, Blenda, with the music. Love it. Nice. Aww. Aww. What a, what a sad. nice film. Now, now we're idle. <laughs> now we're idle. <laughs> Learn from David, guys. Let this be a lesson. Right? There's the crisis line. Call your homies. Check up on your silent homies. Man, I feel like that's so crucial in life. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah. There's so many people out there that just like suffer in silence. So make sure you check up on people. Yeah, you know, especially when there's like a major holiday or if there's like a birthday or some kind of celebration coming up. You know, I feel like we always have those like silent rock strong friends and like, you know, we have the other end of the spectrum where there's friends who they kind of always let everybody know how they're always feeling. And it's the silent ones that I worry about, right? You you want to make sure that even if in their silence of of strength or isolation, you got to check up on them and make sure that they're doing okay. Because you never know, you never know what somebody's thinking and uh, going through. So I love mm-hmm. how Michael Kuya's character in the end, you know, is just kind of checking checking up on, on David and then David's finally ready to no longer be idle and move forward. And I think that's just such a great message of a sense of community and belonging and not feeling like you have to go through things alone. Yeah, it's like, all you have to do is like, put it out there and offer your presence. And it's up to them when they're, if they're ready to like, talk about it. Um, But at least you left the door open for them to, you know, take that opportunity and know that you are there for them if they ever need you. Completely. You know, especially when we talk about how everybody processes their emotions differently. I have friends who they they can only show anger <laughs> or, you know, they're just like, leave me alone, crazy lady. And I'm just like, I, I'm just dropping off food. I'm just going to sit next to you. I'm not, we don't even have to talk. <laughs> or I'll just talk your ear off. Until you get really mad and you're like, get out, Arlene. But you know, I feel like as a friend, it's you know, it's it's hard to figure out what that person needs sometimes. And I just feel like being consistent, checking up on them, even if they get irritated, at least they know that they're not alone. At least they know that, that you know, Ramel knows I'll take a bullet for you. If you are my homie, I will take a bullet for you. Call me. I will not even ask questions. I will show up. Just tell me where and when. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, definitely. I think you should show up for your friends the way that you want people to show up for you. Well, if you enjoyed this short film and you want to see more content from Romix Productions, like other short films, music videos, and behind the scenes, then make sure to stay up to date by following us at all of our social media accounts. All the links are in the description down below. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.